When the world began, animals were musicians. Living in harmony in the palace of the princess Bai Henwa. One day, a god fell in love with the princess. He quickly grew weary of life on earth and took Bai Henwa and her entire palace to his celestial paradise. Once up in the heavens, the princess of Tibolis realized that she had just deprived her people of its culture. And so she ordered all the animal musicians to jump out the window and return to earth. She gave the gong to the monkey so that he could communicate with her. I live on Lake Cebu in the south of my country on the island of Mindanao. It's a region full of mountains and forests. My ancestors were nomads. The thick forests, the waterfalls, and the lakes were their domain. Today, much of our land has been stolen, and we've become sedentary. The men are farmers, craftsmen, or fishermen. I married Moray when I was 16. We live on the lake in a floating house. Like most of the men here, Moray raises tilapia in the fish enclosures. We women pick fruit, gather shellfish, and weave the hemp. But more importantly, we pass on the traditions and the history of our people in song. Here, the women are the musicians. My name is Anita. I want to be a singer. But I'm unable to free my voice. It's like a prisoner deep inside of me. The Tad Bulul is a long poem that is sung. It talks about the origins of our people, the Tibolis, who go back to the creation of the world. I would love to sing it at the end of the harvest for our spring festival. <coughs> I'm worried, since if I don't manage to find my voice, I'll never be a singer. Tomorrow, I'm going to see Mendum, the best singer in the village. She's been singing since she was a child. She'll give me good advice. I'm <laughs> 
Mendum lives on a little island on the other side of the lake. They say that when she was young, Duata, the most powerful of our gods, looked at the child and revealed the existence of her singing voice to her. You must free your soul, Anita. When you sing, it must radiate all around you. You must also listen to the sounds around you, like the wind, the birds, the river. The sound of our instruments, our music comes from them. In order for you to be ready to sing at the spring festival, I will see to your initiation. We will go to the mountains, as your ancestors did. Walking in the mountains was their life. I remember when I was young. I too learned to sing by listening to the forest, its rivers, and its animals. And then I dreamed. I dreamed about my voice, that it was the voice of a cricket. It was so long ago. You will dream too. You will dream of an animal sleeping inside you. I love Mendung's advice. It makes my body and my mind open up. The sounds of our land rock me like a baby. They talk to me about the creation of the world, of my people. Everything I love lives here, on this land that I cherish.
This river was created by two streams, one hot, the other cold. You have to go higher, where the streams blend together and produce a soothing sound. Mendung remains faithful to Tiboli traditions. She knows lots of secrets about nature, like the magic produced by combining two plants. Wildflowers and moss instill in us the spirit of the river. The sound of the river seems different to me. It's become a chant. It was so close in the past, but I never felt the need to listen to it. Lendung Gan is the last Tibli harpist. She makes her own instruments out of giant bamboo trees. She cuts the bark to free the strings. The strings are then tuned using small pieces of wood slid underneath. Our music doesn't have human names. They are called things like wind in the trees, woodpecker, storm, or even seduction. In the beginning, our world was all water. The god Duata asked the hero Tadbulu to create the valleys and mountains of our country. Tadbulu 
sent the bird Batati out to look for land. The bird came back with a small piece of earth in his beak. Tadbulu threw the small piece of earth up, and when it came down, he stepped on it. And suddenly, the earth began to grow larger. The hero and the bird began to dance. The more they danced, the larger the land became. Their movements determined the shape of the land. Short jumps created hills, big jumps, mountains. When they turned, the plains appeared. The areas where they didn't dance remained water. That is how our land became a land of high peaks and peaceful valleys. It's the end of the harvest. It is also the time when we can hear the sound of the rice we crush, peel, and sift. legend. A warrior came to kill all the villagers. When he arrived at the village, he heard women singing. Their songs were so sweet that he sat down to listen and then fell asleep. In the morning, the villagers found him there. They killed him and the village was saved. <laughs> The sound of the kumbing links the earth, the sun, and the moon. It keeps evil spirits away and protects babies. The sensuality of our dances accentuates our feminine spirit, reveals our beauty, and seduces men. is an important instrument in our traditions. It can be heard for several kilometers and is still used today to communicate between villages. We consider the sound of the gong to be alive if we play it regularly. It announces the important steps in life, festivals, births, harvests, and deaths. The spring festival and all the events around it are getting closer. The different agricultural phases follow a calendar based on the appearance of certain constellations. The spring festival announces the end of the harvest, a new stage in animal breeding, and also the end of an annual cycle. Mendung told me that I was ready. I have to sing during the ceremony 
and make my new voice heard. I'm frightened, though. It's my first time. The women wear their festival clothing, embroidered with various colors and mother of pearl. We tune our instruments and cover ourselves with jewelry. These objects help to reveal our beauty, but it's not just exterior beauty, it's interior beauty too, and creates an aura. Our songs talk about the gods and our mythological heroes, but they also speak of our lives. Mendung tells my story, the story of a young Tiboli who had forgotten the sound of the mountains, the forests, and the rivers. A voice is asleep inside of me. I dreamed about the bird, Tao, the bird of the rice paddies. My heart is here, on Lake Cebu, in the center of Tivoli country. I sing its history and its myths. In the beginning, only animals were musicians. 